Well, the nation's highest court will now decide whether Trump can remain on the 2024 primary ballot in Colorado. The Supreme Court's historic announcement comes as the state officially certifies the former president as a candidate. So what does this mean ahead of the election? Let's bring in Colorado's Republican Party chairman, Dave Williams. Dave, thanks for being here. So the Supreme Court's going to rule on it, but as of right now, Donald Trump is on the primary ballot, right? So what, what's the state of play in Colorado? Well, uh, Donald Trump is officially on the ballot. However, we're not certain that absent a Supreme Court ruling that affirmatively declares that he needs to be on that ballot and his votes need to be counted, we're not sure that our Secretary of State's going to count those votes. So we're very relieved that the, the court has taken up the case and we're waiting for them to do what should have been done from the beginning, allow voters the right to choose Donald Trump if they want. Dave, but your Secretary of State, I saw this in real time, she is not going to count the ballots. So Trump being on the ballot is not a cure-all. Listen to what she said she will do if the Supreme Court upholds the state of Colorado. And if the Supreme Court rules in favor uh, of uh, the Colorado Supreme Court to remove Trump from the ballot, but his name is still there, what happens then? Colorado's elections take into account candidates who either drop out of a race when their name is already on the ballot or other uh, are otherwise unable to be voted on. So in that situation, uh, if voters cast a ballot or a vote for someone who is disqualified, we would not be able to count those votes. So Jenna Griswold will not count the 1.3 million ballots. That's how many turned out for Trump in 2020. Yeah, look, Jenna Griswold is a partisan hack. She's a hyper radical Democrat posing as an election official. And this is nothing more than election interference on the part of her and other Democrats. That's why we are so hopeful that the Supreme Court will smack this uh, ruling down and allow the voters the right to support Donald Trump. So, Dave, the, the scenario that CNN and Kaylee are presenting here is what if the Supreme Court sides with the state of Colorado right now? What, then they'll throw out the ballots. They won't count the votes for Trump. What I'm curious about is what if the Supreme Court smacks down Colorado? What if they say, no, 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 you have to count the ballots. You have to keep Trump on the ballot. Do you think the fight is over? Because you've seen a willingness, a commitment to this from, for example, the Secretary of State and the Colorado Supreme Court to fighting Donald Trump. So will that be the end of the fight if the Supreme Court sides with Donald Trump? You would certainly hope so, but I don't put it past uh, Jenna Griswold or any other Democrats in Colorado or across the nation to respect the rule of law. Uh, we're not going to take it lying down. No matter what, we're going to ensure that our voters have the right to vote for Donald Trump. And if the Supreme Court sides with us, great. If they don't, then we're going to convert to a caucus system, but we're not going to take it lying down. Interesting. Convert to a caucus system. Real quick, we don't get a chance to talk to state party chairs all that often. Dave, uh, the Iowa caucuses are coming up quick in New Hampshire. Uh, what's your sense of how this primary is going to play out? You know, I think the writing's on the wall. I think Donald Trump is going to win in Iowa. I think he's going to win in New Hampshire. And uh, by February, we're going to have pretty much the uh, clarity on who's going to be our nominee. So mm -hmm. look forward to it. Yeah, Dave, and, and for those who say we'll write in Donald Trump, uh, the Supreme, the, the court opinion in Colorado says you cannot even write him <laughs> in. Unfathomable dis disenfranchisement of those no, 1.3 million. Nothing. Nothing. You're, you're All right, Dave, thank you so much for fighting the good fight. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.